All right, how's that for an opening? All right, welcome everybody to uh, Tech Forward. My name is Tyler Main. I'm the CEO of Evolve Media. And uh, thank you. Happy November 1st. Hope everybody had a, a good Halloween. I see nobody's taking their costumes off. That's, uh, thanks for doing that. <laughs> so, uh, and thanks for showing up. It's, uh, we, we want to hold this thing in November, or November 1st, thinking that it was kind of a slower time of the year. Um, and apparently, this is going to be a crazy November. So is everybody busy this month? Seems like a pretty, pretty solid one. So anyway, uh, we're going to try to do this in under thir 30 minutes. So we're just going to get started right now and talk about a couple quick updates here at Evolve. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about our Dallas office. This is something that we announced uh, a few months ago at Infocom. And our Dallas office is on track to open for business in January 2018. Uh, I was out there last week, and uh, everything's looking good. The build-out's going well. So uh, that office should be open in, a f in uh, 10 or 12 weeks. Uh, this office will be located in Louisville, Texas, which is a few minutes from the DFW airport, so it's conveniently located. And uh, this will be a brand new 16,000 square foot office, which is being purpose built and slightly different from the other offices. And I'll kind of explain here really briefly. So uh, our business right now at Evolve is split 50-50 uh, um, between uh, distribution and rental. So 50% of our uh, revenue comes from sales and distribution. The other 50% comes from rental. Uh, we started doing sales and distribution a few years ago kind of as a side hobby. And the monsters kind of escaped the laboratory. And what we want to do is try to make things easier and more convenient for our customers. We want to get gear in your hands faster. And really what Dallas allows us to do is it gives us a centralized location. Um, right now we're, we have two main offices, Orlando and Las Vegas. I think it's about 3,200 miles between the two. So it takes a lot of cost, a lot of time to ship gear back and forth. So we figure uh, with the Dallas operation, uh, that will help to uh, kind of make things a little bit easier for our customers. So it's going to be, that Dallas office will be 50% distribution and 50% rental. Um, on the distribution side, we're going to be doing more of a uh, boutique distribution model. We're not going to be carrying a ton of brands. Uh, we're starting out right now with Analog Way, AV uh, Stumpful Media Servers, AJA Video, Barco, uh, Lang AG. Lang AG, uh, many of you might not have heard of them, but they're a uh, company out of Germany that makes our projector cages for the Panasonic projectors. Great, great company. And of course, Panasonic. And uh, we will be announcing another uh, partner at LDI in a few weeks. I can't announce it yet, but it might have something to do with this sort of technology right here. So um, that's an LED wall. But there'll be more for that in a, in a few weeks. The Dallas office will also offer service and support. So there's no reason to sell equipment, rent equipment, uh, if you can't repair it. So what we're going to start doing is uh, repairing the equipment as well. So you have LED modules that need uh, replace, replacement service. You have a projector that's gone bad. Uh, we're going to do that all out of that office so we can turn the gear around much quicker. The goal with this office is to help us move at the speed of the industry and help get products in your hands as fast as possible. We also plan to take this distribution concept to um, one step further. And we call it Evolve Now. I wanted to call it Evolve Prime, but legal said there's some issue with that. So, But we settled on Evolve Now. So what is Evolve Now? This is something that will launch with the new office. And what it basically is, it's a very simple concept, which is if you're going to buy a projector from us, uh, we're going to have road cases, cages, lenses. Um, we're going to be stocking millions of dollars of uh, Panasonic equipment and other manufacturers' equipment. And what Evolve Now allows us to do is ship it to you in the road case. So projector, switcher, camera ships. It's ready to rent. As soon as it delivers to you, uh, it can go out on your show. So we're calling that Evolve Now. So reach-wise, what this gives us is three main offices. So we have Orlando, where we are right now. That's our headquarters. Uh, Las Vegas, uh, we opened that office a little over a year ago. It's going very well. And then we'll have an office in Dallas. Uh, we currently have an office in Atlanta, uh, but we are actually going to be moving it. The staff is moving as well to Dallas. Uh, and we've kind of felt like our, our customer base in Atlanta uh, has been very loyal to us, but most of their shows are outside of Atlanta. And there isn't a lot of pop-up business. So we really want to be a three office company. It makes a lot more sense. Once you go above four offices, things start to get a lot more complex. 
Uh, so we're going to go down to three offices. And though we can't be everywhere at once, we have a lot better reach. So our, our goal here is not to open up offices all over the place and not have the gear available when you need it. Uh, we'd rather build uh, up instead of wide. So those are, those are our three offices. And uh, next, I want to give you a quick update on AV Stumpful. So AV Stumpful, um, I went to their factory in May. And I don't know if it was like the Austrian Air or this beautiful factory that's kind of nestled uh, in a small town. But uh, I think screens are one thing that we all take for granted. It's just something that we always expect to work. It's something that we don't really pay attention to. Uh, but when you see how these guys build things from scratch, the facility that they have, um, it, it gave me a lot of an appreciation for the screen business. But the other part of their business is media servers. And they had recently uh, doubled their engineering staff. They brought six people over to help um, build the next platform of AV Stumple media servers. And uh, it's, it's really amazing stuff. So we inked a deal uh, shortly before Infocom to basically become a value added distributor for them. So what that allows us to do is sell the products, rent the products, train you on the products, uh, and sell you at a direct price. Um, and to start out, we brought in, uh, I believe it was two wing stage servers and two, uh, three raw servers. And what we wanted to do first was bring those into our inventory, see, that, see how they perform, and then you know, just see how things go. So uh, everything with this product line has been going very, very well. Um, this is a picture of uh, a show that one of our customers did. And uh, a lot of the thing with media servers is, you know, typically they do one thing really well or a few things really well. There isn't a media server that does everything. Uh, what they do really well is they push a lot of pixels really well, uh, 4K native. And this is an example of a 22 uh, million pixel project, 20-something uh, projectors, LED wall. Everything was driven through the uh, AV Stumple media server and uh, everything performed very well. So this is what we like to see. We like to see our products being used um, in, the, in the marketplace and get this kind of feedback. And another thing you'll notice too that's pretty cool is if you see there at the, at the bottom, those are actually 12K Panasonic projectors aimed up at the ceiling on kind of this ribbon structure. Uh, and that's something that you can't do with lamp-based projectors. So just kind of a cool, a cool little uh, use study. Um, and then finally, We've topped everything off with, uh, with our academy, and we are offering AV, Stump, uh, Stump, AV Stumpel Wing certified classes. We started those in, uh, I believe, July, and we have a couple um, scheduled in December. So you can go to our website, evolvemediagroup.com, go to the academy page, and uh, all of our upcoming classes are on that list, are on the web page. Uh, one other thing I want to mention really quick, and then we'll move on to the fun stuff. Uh, Evolve Finance is something that we introduced at Infocom. I kind of feel like finance is one of those things that it's not sexy. It's not a real product. It doesn't really exist, but it kind of supports all those things. So we kind of launched this because finance was the one thing that our customers were gonna, had to go outside of Evolve to get done. And we felt like we could actually make that a little bit more of a, um, more of a cohesive solution, kind of doing everything under one roof. So what I just want to mention about this is uh, we're on track to finance over $5 million of our customers' gear uh, by the end of the year. So that's been going really, really well, um, and we couldn't be happier with it. And it's just kind of make th made things a lot easier for our customers. And at the end of the day, our job is to help your business grow. That's what we want to do. We want to help our rental and staging customers grow. And uh, getting you money and gear is things that typically help you grow, right? So let's move on to why we're really here. What is this love story between Evolve and Panasonic? What's, what's going on? I'm sure you guys see us talking about Panasonic all the time. We're bringing all these projectors into inventory. What's, what's going on with Evolve and Panasonic? So briefly, why Panasonic? Um, about a year ago, uh, these guys came out with a lineup of laser projectors. And we looked at them. We were intrigued by the technology. We did a lot of testing. And we liked what we saw. So almost a year ago to the date, we announced an initial buy-in with Panasonic for 70 units. Uh, and we made a goal to be lamp-free by the end of 2018. And we're actually on target to, to hopefully uh, reach that goal. To date, we have brought over 500 Panasonic projectors into our rental inventory. 
Most of those have been sold to rental and staging companies. And the reason why that's important is a lot of people think, well, this is new technology. I don't want to be the guinea pig for it. We were the guinea pig for it. And right now we have 500, over 500 working projectors in our inventory, in our customers' inventory. These aren't living a nice, glamorous lifestyle installed in a theater somewhere. These are being beat up on the road every day, um, day in and day out. And we've had almost to date zero defects and failures with this product. So uh, what that has taught us is that laser is reliable and it's the future of projection. There's no going back, laser is the future. And Panasonic is the company that's brought a complete lineup uh, to our industry before anybody else did. Um, so we're really happy with the Panasonic brand and it's been great in our rental inventory. And what we're trying to do here at Evolve is make the relationship even better, make the experience for our customers even better. So the question that we always ask a manufacturer is, uh, well, so what, what, what do you guys have developed for training? And they said, well, right now we really don't have training developed, uh, but we'll look into it. So we pushed them and we asked them if we could develop the training alongside them because there really isn't a reason to rent projectors without the technicians being trained to, pro to properly use them. So education is very uh, important. We developed a Panasonic certified class, so we're the only company in uh, America that can do Panasonic certified training. And what that means is you're taught by a great instructor um, and you're given a two-day class and everybody gets a Evolve Panasonic certificate. So this is an example of our first class that we did a few weeks ago in Las Vegas uh, with six people. Um, and uh, that was our first class. Everything seems to be going well. So for us, training, training, training is a very important component because we don't want the technician to be training on your shows. I don't know if that's, anybody's had that issue, but I heard it happen, uh, hap it's happened a few times in the past. So we want to keep adding to this and making it better and better. So in our Dallas office, we'll, in 2018, early 2018, we'll, we will be adding service to the mix. So if we're going to sell you the projector, we want to be able to fix it. So training will be coming online. And today, uh, we are inking a deal with Panasonic that will allow Evolve to sell and distribute directly to the rental and staging industry. And that's a um, unique agreement that is the first of its kind. And basically what it does is it just gives us a lot more flexibility to work with our customers to make sure they're getting the best pricing, the best support, and it really takes our relationship to the next level. Um, I mentioned the fleet earlier, and there, there has been one piece that's been missing, and that's the 20K. So we had 7, 10,000, 12,000, 30,000 lumens, but we didn't have the 20K product. And um, I want to introduce you to the RZ21K, which is that guy right over here, the third projector to my, my left. That's the 21K. And uh, this rounds out our fleet. So what I'd like to do now is introduce you to the uh, Evolve projection fleet. What do you think? Pretty cool? So that is, the, that is the fleet. So why did we film this at an airstrip? What does this have to do with, what does this have to do with uh, uh, aircraft? So basically the way we're kind of explaining this is you kind of have to look at it as aircraft, right? And there, if for those of us that fly a lot, there isn't one airplane for every single route. So we've kind of broken these up into three categories. So you have small venue which is kind of the sub 10,000 lumen single chip projectors, uh, the two on the left, if we're looking at the screen. Then we go into our large venue, uh, which is the um, kind of the three chip 
uh, DLP projection, 12,000 lumen to 20,000 lumens. That's your corporate AV workhorse. That's, those are the projectors you're going to be using day in and day out. And then we go to the, what we call the extreme venue, and that would be the RZ31 or the RQ32, which is the 4K version. And what are those used for? Uh, large projection mapping installations. Those, are be, those will be used on large uh, award shows, uh, like the Academy Awards, Oscars, that sort of thing. So those are kind of the three categories. And the cool thing about these projectors are uh, it's one remote, one way of thinking, one menu structure. The design aesthetic is all the same. So what's important for us and important for our industry is the fact that if you have a technician that knows how to fly one, they know how to fly them all. So if you know how to use that little 770, you can jump on an RZ32K and at least get yourself through it, which is really impressive. So kind of the star of the show right now, see, is the PTRZ21K. So this projector is, uh, we're going to start taking this into inventory next week. Uh, this is a 20,000 lumen, 20K project, or sorry, this is a 20,000 lumen projector, 20,000 uh, hours of maintenance-free operation. So there are no filters in this projector. There's no lamps to change. There's no filters to change. Nothing happens for 20,000 hours. Uh, tip, typical rental staging company is putting 1,000 to 1,500 hours on their projectors a year. So you're talking many, many, many years before this projector uh, is going to need to have any kind of servicing. Uh, and then we are. Uh, announcing that we're bringing 100 units into inventory. We have 100 units on order, uh, and those will be split between uh, distribution, sales, and rental. And those start uh, arriving, Dan Meehan, on the 10th of November. All right, I just want to get that on, on, uh, on camera, so, so we're good. Okay, you guys heard that, right? Uh, so speaking of versatility, one thing that's really impressive about these uh, these two projectors in the center here, the RZ12 and the RZ21, is you're able to do something that you've never been able to do before. Typically, you have a xenon projector. In this scenario, you'd have a xenon projector and you have a UHP projector. They don't match. Uh, one's a lot bigger than the other. One runs on 208, run, one runs on 110. Uh, what you have with this scenario are projectors that are 99% the same. The RZ21K is only an inch wider. You'll notice the front grille is a little bit different. That's because this projector needs a little bit of uh, more airflow. But other than that, it's exactly the same. Uh, the, t the 21K does run on, on 208, but it can also run on 110. So what's interesting is if you're a rental staging company and you bring these into your inventory, uh, you have a more affordable solution where you can use a 20K and a 12K as a backup, which saves your client money. Or if, you're, um, if you have a show that's all 12Ks, well, then you just run the 20K on, on 110, and now you have a 12K. So it gives you really, really good versatility. Uh, and that's what we really like about this, uh, this new projector. So that is the fleet. So uh, we're almost done. This actually, this is the fat. Normally, I'm like way over on these things. So uh, we only have a couple more things to go. I would like to have Dan Meehan and his team come up really quickly. Can you just introduce everybody? I'll give you a microphone. Let's see. Not, hold on, I'm not, I'm not an audio guy. Here. Dan, you're, 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 there's millions of people watching this broadcast, okay? You gotta, come on. Be, be professional, buddy, come on. All right, thank you, thank you, Tyler. Speak up. Uh, so, my name is Dan Mahan, Senior Business Development Manager for Panasonic, specific to Tier 1 Rental Staging for the United States. My colleagues from the factory, Ari, and I'm, Ari, I'm not even going to try to do your last name right now. Um, but Ari does rental and staging from, for responsibility for the United States, uh, but factory support. And Morio Matsumoto, senior systems engineer from the factory and product designer for several of the uh, products that uh, Evolve is familiar with. So thank you for attending today. All right, thanks, Dan. Appreciate that. Let me turn that off. Um, do you have the hat? Do you have the sombrero? Oh, do we have the sombrero? Do we have the ticket sombrero? We, we, have, one, we have one more thing. So, oh, you know what? You need the mic. Oh, I'm sorry. I got ahead of myself. But you can stand here. It's fine. Okay, it's I'll fine. Just stand here. Okay, uh, so she's going to get the price. In, sorry, we didn't rehearse this, if you can't tell. <laughs> um, so just, just stand there. It'll just be a minute, I promise. Um, Ashley, everybody. So uh, we are, one, one thing I want to announce as well is we're taking this technology on tour. We call it Tech Forward. Uh, so 
we're going to be taking some of the projectors, some other surprises that we're working on that we can't announce quite yet. Uh, but we're basically taking this kind of across the country. And one thing that we're doing a little bit differently, people have asked me a lot, well, which dates are you going to be in Atlanta and which dates are we going to be in Chicago? Uh, I'm not going to tell you right now. And the reason why I'm not going to tell you is because this industry doesn't react well to dates that are set. It doesn't react well to um, showing up at a hotel for a demo. You just, it just doesn't work. We've learned that lesson. So what we're going to do differently is we're going to target these cities. We're going to personally visit our customers. We're going to, you know, we're going to do this kind of one uh, stop at a time. And if you go to our website, evolvemediagroup.com, you can actually register. So when we are going to one of these cities, uh, we will notify you. But we uh, anticipate starting this in mid-November and taking it through the end of the year. So we've got Atlanta, Boston, Chicago, Dallas, Denver, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Nashville, New York City, Orlando, which congratulations, this is the first stop on the tour, uh, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, San Francisco, Seattle, and Washington, D.C. I almost made that in time before I did the transition. So with that, I will bring Ashley out for the right time now. Hey, Ashley. Hi. So we shot this at a really cool airfield. I'm just going to have Ashley tell you what it is real quick and what the prize is, and then we're going to wrap up. So we had a lot of fun with this project. I'm sure you can tell by the awesome footage that we got. And we had fun in large part thanks to Warbird Adventures, which is only about a 15 minute drive from here. So we want to share that fun with one of you. So when we got the tickets from you earlier, I'm going to draw someone out of the hat. And the prize that you're getting is a one hour flight on a T6 Texan at Warbird Adventures. And that package includes uh, footage from the whole, uh, video footage from the whole flight. And you have to give us that footage, by the way. That's the only that's caveat, totally because cool. we're gonna. Yeah. That's gonna go on our. Web, that's gonna go on our homepage. So just keep. Just keep that in mind. Uh, okay. So do you want me to draw for you? Yeah, you draw. All right. That's even better. All right. Don't pick Dave's ticket. Don't pick Dave's ticket. <laughs> Dave. Dave has won the last two prizes. So. He looks pretty confident. Yeah. All right. All right. You want to read it? Yeah, I'll read okay. it. Okay. That's how I'll take. I'll take the. I will take the prize sombrero. All right. Two nine zero. Three, eight, one, four. What do we get? Awesome. All right. Congratulations. Uh, all right, congratulations, Neil. And uh, thank you, Ashley. Thank you very much. Um, and also, thank you to Panasonic because they sponsored that, uh, that plane ride, and that's about a $700 uh, value. So um, I'm sure Neil would be sending a PO in shortly for more projectors, Dan. Don't worry about that. So. That wasn't rigged at all. All right, um, with that, we're going to wrap up. We want to keep this under 30 minutes. So that's our goal. So um, I'll say goodbye to anybody out there in Facebook land or online. Uh, we do have some projectors set up in our academy that we can show you. And then uh, we've got lunch, and then we'll get out of here. So thank you very much, everybody.